Hi, hi everyone. Um, my name is Rob, um, aka Philly Joe. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is just I'm making a video on video games. I thought I would um, join YouTube, uh, everyone else who is doing videos about old retro video games, current video games as well, but a lot about the um, the retro side of things that. Basically, I've played video games all my life, um, from about four or five, I think. So, yeah, not all my life, right? So, as I went up with hold a controller in my hand, um, first ever video game I played, Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo, going around my mate's house just over the road, and uh, playing it and just being blown away by it. Not having um, had a console until I was about seven years old, and itching between those like between four and seven, just wanting to play video games. Eventually got a, a Nintendo Game Boy, original one with the uh, Tetris and uh, the four batteries that come with it as well. Played that non-stop, loved it. Loved all the games that came with it, well, all the other games that I got for the Game Boy. Super Mario Land, there was one called Solar Striker. Loved that one. Um, oh, there was loads and loads. For years and years I had that, I think about, about 10 years after I actually initially bought it so yeah so I thought I'd just do a, a video a little bit about myself and um, a little bit about why I want to just make a video about um, a story I've basically been writing um, a little story on, in a word document for the last seven or eight years because I wanted to just document what I've what I know about video games what I like about video games and um, yeah, I feel quite passionate about it. You know, I enjoy collecting these old retro consoles and the newer games I play as well. And uh, yeah, I had so many stories growing up about playing specific games, uh, what those specific action games, strategy games, sports games. The list goes on. Um, so I've got to start somewhere. So this is my first video. Anyone that knows me knows that. I love playing video games and pretty much every conversation I start with friends and family just pretty much ends up with me talking about video games. But uh, I, I know whenever I do have these conversations, a lot of the times people are just nodding politely. I guess that's right. Yeah, 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 you know. So thank you for putting up with me and my bloody video games. Anyway. Um, I'll start off with um, just saying the last few, well, the last year, um, I've been watching a lot of these um, videos online <coughs> with people from the UK um, still collecting retro video games, having big units and in the house of uh, big collections of video games and having them hooked up to all these old, old and new TVs. And, um, I do have a TV and, you know, like a spare TV to play old video games consoles on. Hopefully in the near future I'll have a big, big room to have it all set out, ready to play and have some people around and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm just looking, really looking forward to that. But, you know, as life is, it's just getting around to it, you know. But um, yeah, happy with the collection that I've got at the moment. It's just getting it all set up and uh, yeah, pick up a bargain as and when I can. Um, these, there's a specific... Um, show on YouTube called Game The Game Chasers. It's based in America. Uh, it's been going for the last five years, but I only found that out about seven or eight months ago. Great, just two lads going to car boot sales, picking up um, classic video games, every, anything from the old Atari to well, modern day, you know, Xbox One, PS4 games and stuff like that. But I don't have an Xbox One or a PS4 yet. I will do. Um, I will get a PS4, um, especially with the, the games library that's, you know, is the same, all the games that are coming out. Um, Uncharted 4, uh, the VR headset, really looking forward to that. Uh, Shenmue 3, I've actually already purchased by Kickstarter, even though I haven't even got a PS4 yet, but I thought I'm, not, I'm having that. That's just, the Shenmue series, if you ever play, if you had a Sega Dreamcast back in the day, you most likely played the uh, Shenmue, um, an awesome game, just groundbreaking for its time, and it, it flopped a bit, to be honest, it's, it cost about 50 million 
dollars to make or something stupid. Like it was the most expensive video game at the time, and it sold nowhere near, you know, to break even. So it was a shame. They, they didn't make a sequel, but it was in Japanese. It released over here. Um, there was a sequel on the Xbox though, which was in English. And I've picked that up recently, so I was well happy with that. And it cost me about ten. So yeah, really happy with that. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I think I'll just start with. Um, my nickname, Philly Joe. Uh, a lot of people know me about by that, uh, not just by video gaming, but just just as a nickname. About 20 years ago, there was a video game on the uh, Sony PlayStation One called Pool Shark. Now, this is part of the Actua Sports series that was on the Sony PlayStation. I think there was Actua Tennis, Actua Golf, Actua Soccer, but um, this was known in America as Actua Pool. But over here they released it as Pool Shark, as you can see, part of the actual sports series down here. Um, and the boss it was great. There are loads of different characters as um, pool players. I remember there were some funny names for characters called um, like Alvis Burger, a guy dressed as Alvis Presley and just fat and eating burgers and playing pool. And there was a guy called Ed Case. Yeah, he was a like skinhead nutter playing pool and just like you know fighting and all that um, very good game um, <laughs> there's a guy called Slim Chance as well it always made me laugh um, and the boss of the game was a guy called Philly Joe and uh, it just stuck um, I don't know why but I used to just everyone used to just call me out after that um, all my mates I used to play this game with um, so yeah I managed to pick this up from uh, Car Boot yesterday um, today's Monday the 28th of March, yesterday was Easter Sunday, 27th, um, yeah, went, went over to uh, Car Boot and uh, picked that up, good nick, instructions, 50p, so well happy with that, seeing as all oh, Sony PlayStation video games are now just skyrocketing in price on eBay, you know, you're getting what you can because it's gone crazy. I thought I'm going to have to make this video now because video game prices, retro video game prices, because they're becoming collector's items and for people that just want to sell, um, basically like these people go around in um, car boots uh, looking for these bundles of games and think, yeah, I'll just buy the whole bundles, resell it on eBay, uh, buy it now at stupid prices, um, well, gum trim and stuff like that. But yeah, there's a, there's a great avenue as to how to collect old retro video games, as I just mentioned, there's eBay, of course, uh, Gumtree, and a, an app called Spock, Spock. I found out a couple of weeks ago. It's good because it, it, it targets uh, games for sale in your area, so you can have it for, like within five miles. Um, it's a bit like Gumtree, actually, to be honest. But it's an app on your phone, and it works really well. Um, of course, Gumtree's pretty good for uh, you know, finding old video games, but can't beat, can't beat a car boot to be honest, um, I had a really good day yesterday at the car boot, it's all going into detail about, and I've just got here on the, uh, the left of me quite of what I've picked up in the last few weeks, so I'll, uh, I'll crack on with that to be honest, or uh, I've gone on a bit about, you know, what I, you know, basically I'm just going to crack on with this, so uh, this is the first time I've ever made a video of anything, to be honest. So, uh, excuse the um, the amateurism, amateurism. And I keep looking at the screen here. So I'm sorry if my eye just keeps going to the right. So uh, I know the camera's yeah. So I will focus yeah. Okay. So uh, a couple of weeks back, um, basically where I'm from, Coventry. There's a decent retro gaming scene, um, especially in the last year or so. There's been uh, one or two shops open up uh, spe specifically for video games. A uh, couple like for retro gaming. Um, it's a great uh, little market that opened up a couple of years ago on Fargoster Street in Coventry called Fargo Village. And there's a, a, a store, well, sorry, not a store, but a shop called Entertainment Brothers. Lovely guy, Dan, Daniel. Gibson runs it, great guy, um, and they hold a retro video game night every month, um, it's the first Thursday of each month, and uh, it's in the bookstore opposite, 
the actual store. They have um, a Sega Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, uh, Nintendo 64, and uh, Nintendo Wii all set up uh, with a collection of games you could just plug in and play. There's a bar there so you can buy a drink, like tea, coffee, water. There's a couple of beers, uh, ciders on, on for sale. So, yeah, been there a couple of times, like about four or five times I've been to this retro e gaming evening. Met a few other people there, a few regulars. So, yeah, like minded people enjoying uh, rep like the games they used to play as a kid and that. So, yeah, it's good fun. Me and my mate Mike usually go along and have a few beers, and uh, yeah, it's a good laugh. Um, and there's also, uh, the last two weeks, a brand new um, store, market stall open up in Coventry Market um, in town. Uh, a guy called Anthony, he's only literally just opened up. He's, uh, he's, he's got about a third of a stall full of games. I went along on Friday to see him, just to introduce myself. And um, yeah, lovely guy. Um, he's always willing to give a good price for video games. I'm trying to get in the centre of the camera here. Now, hold on a sec. Oh, there we go. All right. So, um, yeah, he's, he's you know he's pretty switched on. Lovely guy. Uh, I'll go along probably next weekend to go um, see him, see how he's doing. I've got a lot of um, duplicate um, video games, retro video games. Um, he says just bring all your duplicates in. We'll do a trade, and um, anything I need, he can knock it off the price. Give me a good price for it. So, yeah, happy with that. Um, I'll take I'll take all them along with me, and uh, see what he's got. I walked away with a couple of games um, on Friday when I saw him. I think it was Friday, was it Friday or Saturday? No, I can't remember one of them. And uh, yeah, I've got a couple here. I'll show you. Um, basically, he had a big box of PS1 games, um, ranging from about five to ten quid. And when I saw these two, I thought, oh, I don't really want to pay. Five, five pound or over for each one, but I'll show you what I got from. I'll show you what they were. Just grab them. What do you say? Like live TV, this. It wasn't then. There we go. Right. So, sorry, you got a shot in my belly there. I might also make a drive to the top, but whoever knows me knows that I wear this all the bloody time anyway. I'll try not cursing my videos as well, so uh, the younger generation can learn what it was like to actually play proper video games and not bloody sports games that come out every. Well, there's one out tomorrow. There was one released yesterday or something stupid like that. So um, yesterday, uh, sorry, Friday, went into town, picked up uh, two games. Well happy with these. First game, classic, Tomb Raider. Uh, original for the PS1 uh, PlayStation Platinum case, but it doesn't really matter, it's the original game. And great Nick, so there we go. Um, boxed in instructions. There's the game, great quality. Um, as well as the instructions, you get this weird fashion catalogue uh, called Lara. <laughs> it's literally a merchandise for um, Tomb Raider. I'll show you a funny page I found. This guy, honestly, loving it. Absolutely loving the Lara. He looks like um, it's like the Miz from wrestling or something like that. He's loving it anyway. And she pointed at him as well. Yeah, she's like, look at this guy. It's a bit too, uh, bit too into it for me, I think. I think that's what she's saying. But um, yeah, fashion, bloody catalogue for um, all Tomb Raider gear. I didn't really see that in the video games much. Sorry for picking my nose on screen now. I was scratching, I wasn't picking. Anyway, um, second pick second pick up, Tomb Raider 2. He had that, so I thought, I'm going to have to get the 2. Tomb Raider 1 and 2, both games, played them to death back in the day. Absolutely loved them. Everyone knows who Lara Croft is. Biggest, one of the biggest video game icons in the world. Uh, plenty of films have been made. Angelina Jolie. Um... Booklet, original game, great nick. And the thing I like about when I get a good pickle like this is that the PlayStation case isn't cracked because they're renowned for just cracking and people just treat them poorly. You get, I'll show you a couple of games in a minute and they're just an absolute state. It's ridiculous. But both games, 
four pound each, so eight pound in total. Well happy with that. Really, really happy. Never get rid of these. I'll probably play them in the next few days. Go back to me all day. Two million days. Um, so that was on Friday. I'm not actually going in any particular order as there as to as and when I pick these up. But um, this one, uh, probably my top three video games. Uh, sorry, the, <laughs> the washing machine was just beeping. There. Put me off, put me off. All right, Final Fantasy VII, PlayStation. Bit of a crack there. You can get these cases from next to nothing. So if I really wanted to, I'd just get it recased. But yeah, absolutely love this video game. If you've never played it, just bloody play it already. You don't have to play the first six. So yeah, um, my actual CDs in the PlayStation I've got at the moment. So this one, I think this is like a demo disc for eight, Final Fantasy VIII. Um, that's where this one goes. This two and three. Well happy. So I picked up upon um, Gumtree. Five pounds. So well happy with that. Not apart from the scrap, like the crack, it's, it's spot on. It's exactly what you want. Right, so uh, that was Friday. Uh, a week before that, I did pick up um, a couple of other games from my friend at uh, Entertainment Brothers. Uh, a couple of other PlayStation games. Um, this one just holds so many memories. I think it was because it was so cheap. When, when the PlayStation came out, I was working a paper round, saving up constantly for like three months to buy a Sony PlayStation and eventually did. And then realized I didn't have any money for any games. I think I had Tekken 2 and that was it. But then this true pinball, I think it was like 10 pound back in the day. Picked that up, great little pinball simulator. Um, I think I got that for like two quid, but yeah, you know, it means, means loads to me. You know, all the memories of playing that. There's a great table called Vikings. If you've ever played the video game, you know exactly what I mean. It's just, I know there's only four pinball tables on the game, but Vikings is just brilliant. Um, the music, the, the ramps, there's so much choice in it, and the bonuses and jackpots, great fun. Um, got this for an absolute classic for the PlayStation. And if, if you're a PlayStation fan, you'll all agree that this game is just brilliant. Driver. First game for the uh, PlayStation 1. Great nick. Um, absolute steal, 49p. So, uh, yeah, thanks, cash converters. Tell you what, bugbear of mine, cash converters, these stickers, why? Why do you have to just... I know you can use, like, a WD spray or something to get it off, but you shouldn't have to. You should just be able to peel them off. These are just, like, ridiculous. I mean... I had to break it just to get into the actual game. But if you've ever bought any from there, I mean, it just takes forever to get these bloody things off. Anyway, uh, another pickup, uh, Elemental Pinball. Um, I'm trying to remember where I got that. Uh, I think that was cash converters as well. I think that was 10p or something weird. Basically, like a guy come in the night before sold all his PlayStation games and there were some great ones there like Heart of Darkness and stuff like that and I was only going for about £3.50 but I don't know why I didn't pick that up because they go for, on eBay for about 15 20 quid. But um, yeah I think I got that for like 10p there and there's loads of other sports games you know FIFA 96 or 97 why would I want them and yeah so I, I collected quite a few of these PlayStation games at um, Cash Converters. Um, Worms now this this case I've got it's a bit strange but it's just like a normal CD case not a PlayStation case but I did actually pick up another one um, for forty nine p as well so well happy with that um, and siphon filter um, this, this case isn't in very good shape at all but instructions are there games are great game if you ever played it you know what I mean all right let's get through this then so yesterday went to um, Stonely. Yeah, Stonely, just outside Coventry, there's a car boot there every um, every couple of weeks, I think, or every month, one of those. But uh, it's all indoors, great setup. A couple of big halls, like exhibition halls, they look like, full of cars, full of people just getting rid of their stuff. And um, 
took my daughter along as up there in the morning. So um, yeah, went car booting with the daughter. Uh, and yeah, I've got some great pickups. So I'll show you what I've got. Started off at a couple of tables that had a couple of PlayStation games. These ones aren't in very good nick at all, to be honest, these first lot. Um, Spec Ops, Stealth Patrol. We've got that for 50p. Um, a couple of these are quite water damaged. And the box is, as you can see, like warped. Um, that's the case. Games are right. Games are in pretty good nick, but as I say, you can buy, I'm sure you can buy like um, replacement cases for these things, which I'll most likely do for these. Um, great pick up this one. I didn't even know this game existed. Um, I used to love a game called G Police on the PlayStation. Um, I managed to pick up this sequel for 50p. G Police Weapons of Justice. In good nick. This one's not water damaged. Great with instructions, box full. So, well happy with that. Next one, this is in the right state to be honest. Uh, Sorcerer's Maze for that. It's ridiculous. But um, games in there. I'm gonna have to. <sighs> stinks too. I'm just gonna have to write that off. I reckon the uh, just keep the CD in one of these. You know, a couple of collectors use these things. Um, the CD holders. Managed to get one. Well, I've got the one from Poundland. Uh, holds about forty of them, forty or fifty. Got a couple of games in there already. Tekken three. I do have the case for that. It's just that it's up in it's up in the storage. Um, but I just want to keep playing it, <laughs> so I'll keep it with me, yeah. Ninja, uh, um, Shadow of Darkness, very good game by um, Core and Eidos, the makers of Tomb Raider. So, uh, other pickups from the uh, car boot, San Francisco Rush, Extreme Racing, 50p. And good Nick, who wants to be a millionaire, 50p. Uh, that pool shark that I explained earlier, that was 50p. Um, I think that's it for those. Um, I've got quite a few PlayStation 2 games just here. Just uh, show these to you. I saw a guy on Facebook yesterday um, selling all of his old games off, and he's like, oh, I want a tenner for this. Everyone knows this series. Um, this is probably the best of the series ever made. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, picked up for 50p, and this guy was selling it for a tenner on Facebook. He says, oh, it's got the map included and that. Got the map there, mate. So, well happy with that. Got all that there. And great Nick, can't beat it, 50p. One of one of the best sandbox games of all time. Uh, picked up a GameCube game, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. That's the uh, sequel to The Sands of Time. Um, so yeah, good, good nick. Uh, the one that started it all, Grand Theft Auto 3. You know, absolutely groundbreaking 3D sandbox game at the time. Whoever thought it would look that good after playing the first two Grand Theft Autos. Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, I didn't pick that up yesterday, so I've just found this. That was also at uh, Cash Converter. I got it for 99p, but can't beat it. This, I remember playing this game and loving it. I played the original. I uh, really enjoyed the original, but not as much as I did the sequel. Absolutely loved it. Great soundtrack. Uh, Tekken 4. I needed that for my collection. I've got, as you saw, I've got Tekken 3 for the PS1. Um, Tekken 2 and Tekken 1 I need to get my hands on for the PS1. Um, Tekken 5 I picked up recently as well, so I was happy with that. Got Tekken 4 for 50p. A lot of these vendors were saying oh, a pound you know, for each game, but I was just like, give you 50p for it? And they were like, yeah, go on there. Finding Nemo. Never did actually play this video game, but um, you know, I'm sure the kids will like it. Max Payne. Absolute classic. Loved this game when it was out. The PlayStation 2 version as well. I know the PC version was the best, but I didn't have a PC. Well, I didn't play games on the PC anyway. But yeah, absolutely corking game. Love it. 50p. Can't beat it. <coughs> and the last one, the last PS2 game, Ratchet and Clank. 50p. Unfortunately, no instructions in this one. 
but um, you know, I'm just happy to have that. But I never did actually play it, but I know loads of people say it's one of the best platformers of all time. That the series, I mean, there's one coming up for the PS4, I think next month uh, or May, one of them. And uh, I thought I'd just see where it all began. Um, I, I know there's a couple of sequels on either the PS2 and it's the PS2 and the PS3. There was a couple of uh, the sequels, nuts and not nuts and bolts. That was something else. Um, so yeah, they were the PS2 games I picked up. This one, Heavy Rain. This was in cash converters. Now I did already have this game, but this limited edition box art, as you could probably see, with the raindrops, absolutely beautiful uh, artwork uh, in, inside as well. We've got, um, got quite a lot going on in there. We've got the game, you've got an inlet. There's quite a lot going on there. So yeah, well happy with that. Really nice artwork. Uh, that was two ninety nine. I know I already had the game, but this limited edition, seeing as there was a copy of the original game, with the, the bog standard um, case and all that, they had that for three ninety nine, and this was a pound cheaper, and it's a limited edition. Silly cash converters. You know, I'm going to take good care of this one. Um, right, okay. Uh, sorry, two of the games for the PS1 I picked up yesterday at the car boot. Uh, 50p this one. Everyone that had a PS2, like PlayStation 1, and was a wrestling fan, has most likely played this series. WWF Smackdown 2, Know Your Role. There we go. 50p. Cannot beat it. I played WWF Warzone back in the day. Didn't play the Smackdown series, but everyone says how good it is. So, um, yeah, happy to pick that up. Instructions included. And great Nick. 50p. Absolutely brilliant. A lot of these games I know and that are already in my collection already, are just, I know that they're going to be an investment. They're, they are an investment in a way, but that's not why I'm purchasing them. It's because I enjoy playing video games. I enjoy showing people other video games and uh, telling stories and and it's exactly why I'm doing this. Um, right, I'll crack on with the last segment. Um, I know this is running on a bit. Jeez, 27 minutes. Don't have to go on, man. You know what I mean? Right, a couple of other pickups from the uh, car boot before I'll show you the last bit. Buzzers. Uh, four buzzers for the uh, buzz quiz uh, games that were on the PS2. I believe they're on the PS3 as well. But um, yeah, four buzzers. I got that for a pound, boxed. So that's good. Uh, I won't unravel it, but this is a GameCube controller. That's uh, Mad Cat's um, unofficial GameCube controller. The guy wanted a fiver. I was like, no, I can't, can't pay a fiver for something that's not an official Nintendo product. And he says, how much are you going to pay then? I said, I'll give you three quid for it. And he said, yeah, all right. So, yeah, I needed a second controller anyway. So I uh, picked up a Mario is missing. No, this is on eBay, actually. Uh, about a week ago, uh, picked this up. Um, two quid, I think. Um, I've already got the box and the game. I just needed the instructions. Now I have the full set. And you know what it's like. You go on eBay and it's box with instructions. This, you know, it goes about two or three times the price you get just for the cartridge. So, yeah, well happy with that. Um, right. So that's it for those. The last last thing I wanted to show you was um, at the end of the uh, well, about an hour into the. Um, the car boot, the last stand, there was this uh, man and wife, lovely couple, got got chatting to them for quite a bit, had my daughter with me, they gave her a little owl toy, and I thought, oh God, they put it in her arms and she loved it, and I thought, they're just going to make me buy it now, but um, I said, how much you want for it? She says, it's fine, she can have it, I thought, thank you very much. So uh, I looked down, huge box of Commodore 64 games. I don't have a Commodore 64. I used to play one around my friend's house, and I'm hoping he's still got it so I can buy it off him. But, um, yeah, uh, huge selection. I think it's about 30, over 30 games. I Just out of interest, I said, uh, how much are these each? He says, oh, 50p. I went, oh, right, okay, like I wasn't 
I wasn't going to touch on right because I haven't got I haven't got Commodore 64. And he says, "Well, you can have the whole lot for a fiver." I know, right, and <laughs> so I just grabbed just grabbed it. It gave me the uh, big bag for life with it as well. So, well happy with this. Let me just show you the games. Remember you say. Nice big Sports Direct bag, huge. So the way I look at it, I've got all these games, this bag, and an owl toy for the uh, for the daughter, five pounds. Now I'm going to make a bit of space here because there's a lot of games. I'll try and get through them as quick as possible. Some of them have got some right obscure titles, and I I actually shot this a video like an original video yesterday. Uh, with this, like for this, but um, it wasn't working on my uh, on my webcam on my laptop, so now I'm using a tablet. I'm hoping this this just works because I've gone, gone on for half an hour and now I've just been another half an hour wasted. But anyway, Commodore 64 games. Sorry about these dodgy titles. Right, okay. International Karate, Light Force. The never-ending story. Ah.